YouTube and today we're doing tutorial 4 in the how to make a game in notepad series. Now before I start I'm sorry for it being so long since I did my last tutorial, probably about 10 days, more maybe? Yeah, either way, it's way too long. So yeah, sorry about that guys, um, but here's tutorial 4, it's finally here. Okay, so if you've forgotten, um, if, when you want to edit it you click quiz game, or have you named it, right click and click uh, edit. As you can see I now have two more entries in my menu uh, saying compile with advanced batch exe and open. Now this program uh, basically just makes your batch file into a proper exe file so people can't see your code and edit it and change it. So just hit edit and full screen and here we go. Okay so today I'm probably going to be yeah, I'm, I'm going to wait, if we scroll down right to the bottom, I'm going to be making the final, final um, page or screen in our game, which will be the congratulations you have won game um, screen. So let's get right into this. Um, so if, you, if they get it correct, instead of it taking them to question six, which is non-existent, we want it to take them to um, win because they've just won. Okay, so go down two lines and create a new block of code or section and name it win. And now we're going to do CLS title. We're going to define a title and it's going to be congrats. And then let's do the player name. So I think it's player. Hold on guys, let me just go check what the variable's called. I've literally forgotten. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's player. Okay, so congrats player. You have won. Okay, now let's do... Ah, now, now, let's, now let's do a little trick to make it to make it wait. Okay, so now let's define a colour. So 0A. Then we're going to ping local host. Uh, minus N one that should work and then we do color zero b and i'm simply going to copy this because i'm way too lazy to paste it over and over again so let's change this to c d e and f i hope those colors exist because i don't actually know um so there we go let me just explain this color we know that defines the color of the foreground and background um, ping basically sends a sends a network request um, to whatever whatever you type here. For, for example, we've done localhost, which will just ping your own computer um, and test if your computer's online. Obviously, it will be. And slash n or minus n will um, make sure it does it for this amount of seconds. So one second in this case. So after we've done that. We want it to pause. Actually, no, it's not to pause. Let's do. Um, ooh, what should we do here? Let's do CLS again, and then define. Let's do an echo now, and an echo there, saying space, 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 space. And then let's copy this bit, paste it in, and there we go. We've just created an awesome "you have won" sequence. Now, basically, what, what just just to clarify, what this color pinging and thing will do? Basically, it will change to this color, then wait one second, then change to another color, then wait a second, then change to another color, then wait a second, and so on and so on. So it sort of creates like a nice little flashy color effect, which would be quite nice. So, congrats, player! You have won, and then echo here. Take this virtual cookie as a gift for completion of the most amazing quiz in the world. Yeah. And let's do hands over cookie. 
boom amazing okay let's do echo down uh wait echo dot sorry cls and echo actually let's put a pause in there without the pause dot because you don't want it to do that wait no pause no that's it so and then clear screen now let's do echo return to menu request remark um let's do a y slash n and we're now going to have to do this again set minus p or slash p uh oh hold on yeah that's right oh sorry uh sets minus um slash p um uh rt turn to menu equals to nothing and then if and then turn to menu uh equals 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 um y go to menu if it equals that which is then go to actually instead of doing that we'll just exit and then let's create a loop so go to win if they don't hit anything they'll have to watch the whole win sequence again so this should be the end of the game mm -hmm. now I would usually suggest before finishing up we'll go down two lines and tap in exit oh god what have I done here okay I would type in exit but I don't feel like doing that today so yeah uh, I was just gonna pause the video and I'll be right back sorry for that minor setback I had to go do something um because I have a life apart from making videos you know guys you know I don't know if you know but yeah so this exiting will stop a leak in our code instead we're gonna type echo oh god I appear to be messing stuff stuff up here. Go down two lines and type echo. Um, let's do a warning. Warning. The code has crashed or is not running correctly. Uh, echo after or oh, actually before we do that let's just put an echo dot there let's go all the way down after pressing any key oh that should be two words not one no god dang it anyway the code should terminate and then simply do a pause null oh I did that wrong null sorry and type exit to finish off our code but of course this exit should never this block of code here should never ever be be reached so let's just give this a little name like uh, something sensible such as oh what the hell am I doing here such as um crash because our codes obviously crashed if we ever read this um, because if you see, look, we've 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 plugged all the loops. So go to win. So that's that. But it's plugged. Uh, go to win. It's all it's all plugged up. So nothing sh uh, nothing bad should happen really. Everything is cheese and peaches, if you know what I mean. That means good, by the way. If you didn't know. Ja. Actually, let's let's define a title here. So we'll see it. Oh, actually, CLS title. And I can't spell title. Title Crash Error One Code Has Crashed Code Leak or Code Has Crashed that'd be sounds more awesome. It's so yeah, we've got it we've even got an error code. Error code one. Code has crashed. I mean, then that should be error code zero because zero means false in binary, you know, guys. So thanks for watching my tutorial. Um, I'll be I'll put, I'll be making number five. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's let, let's quickly run our program. So file save. 
Let's minimize this and go to where we've saved it and let's run our program. So right click open. Oh, it's very nice. Very nice indeed. Welcome to the menu. Press new key to continue. Oh, here I can start. Oh, it's really info. Oh, here we go. Two. Press any key. This quiz is highly awesome. Please use at your own risk to continue using this game. Note, I'm not responding for any damage to your brain. Colon S. Press any key to continue. Boom. Ah, menu again. Nice. Um, now let's try out start. Please enter your name. Hmm, what is my name? Can't be Adam or anything. Pff, God, no. Press any key to start the quiz. Oh no, question one. Who owns the company Microsoft? Me. I own Microsoft. No, only joking. Um, Bill Gates. Ooh, yeah. Well done, Adam. You got the question right. <laughs> Press any key. Okay, question two. What is one of one? Over 9,000. Oh, no. Access is denied. Wait, what? Okay, so this, this is all. This is always the way you run your code. Because you need to find any errors. That should not say access is denied so go back to your code and find out where that glitch is so I got the code wrong on question two so wrong two mm-hmm uh -huh. ah it appears we have a code leak somewhere da -da -da -da. yeah anyway um that's strange. Okay, that, that, that's just a glitch. Um, I'm okay with accept, accepting that. Oh, I'm at the menu again. Dang it. Okay, let's let's do it properly this time. Let's do it legit. Let's do lol face. I'm gonna whiz through this one. C. Uh, B. Oh, Pedal. Oh my god. I do Spanish at school and I still don't know the answer to this question. I'm a such a knob. I better not get this wrong. Oh yeah, swick. Press new key. Oh, can, can pigs fly? No, pigs can't. Our cat's green. A. Whoa! That was awesome. Here, take the virtual cookie as a gift. For your completion of the most amazing quiz in the world. Happy face. Press any key to continue. Turn to the menu. Uh, yeah. Ah, so our code doesn't leak in the end. And it still says, congrats, lol face, you won. Alright, that's amazing. I'm just going to wrap this video up here. Um, if, we have, if I make another tutorial, it will probably be tweaking and adding more um questions if you would like that please comment in, comment in the comment section uh comment rate subscribe and goodbye